that Chewy situation, I handled it. But you just can't go make a move like that without me. You think I'm scared of Tommy? But you start a war that you don't have a shot in winning. I want you to run things. You've never given me a shot like this. Why now? I've got him like a fish before I put my trust in him. Stay far away. I wake up every day ready to die. But is it worth it, though? Eventually. What up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Modi J and we are locked in. We just seen the trailer again for episode two of Force. And let me tell you, it's looking like we're going to have another good episode because the way that they're laying this out for us, they're saying, listen, we changed up Force and we changed it up for the better. And right now we're trying to figure out everything that's going on. How is Tommy going to get past these bodies? The feds are looking after Tommy. Diamond got a new PO. The Flynn family, they're in shambles. Jannard is trying to bounce back from all the debt that he's in. It's going to be a crazy episode too. And we're going to start getting more and more questions answered. Now, before we jump into this and I get my last thoughts on what's going to happen in episode two of Force, if you like power content, breakdowns, theories, and predictions like this, live after show discussions, tune in tonight, first reaction, 1 a.m. Eastern, then hit your subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. I'm on that road to 50,000 subscribers, so each and every one of you, I appreciate you, and you all count. Now, if you don't see this at 100 likes, hit that like button. But let's go ahead and jump into it. This is my last thoughts for episode two of Book Four Force. We have to start with Tommy in episode two because the last thing we seen in episode one was Tommy killing Chewie after Chewie then switched sides on CBI and started messing with treason. Now this photo and this clip right here is Tommy in the actual barbershop with Tyrone Reeves, you know, Mr. Don't Play, the parole officer for Diamond. But Tommy, he's gonna have to start wondering who's actually watching him and are people getting closer to him to try to take him out of this whole thing. Now we know him and Miguel, they're gonna start partnering together. We even see them potentially being in a shootout in this episode. So for Tommy, he's gonna to have to start watching his back while he's in Chicago. We know he wants to take over the cartel and in order to do that, more bodies are gonna to have to drop. There's gonna to have to be some kind of alliance to get even closer with Miguel. But we also know that Tommy is messing with Miguel's sister, Mireya, and this could become a crash course between him and Miguel. And that's because they show Tommy in the shootout with Miguel. Now, this is going to prove that Tommy is actually capable of running with the cartel. Because remember, Miguel told Tommy to go into the kitchen. That's where he met Mireya because he wanted to talk with Diamond. He didn't know if he could trust Tommy. But I'm sure Miguel has heard about Tommy in these streets. And once Tommy steps up and shoots at whoever's shooting at Miguel, that's going to show Tommy has that loyalty. And I might be able to bring him into the organization. Also, you have to remember, Tommy is able to get closer to him. One, because Diamond's probably gonna have to lay low with Tyrone Reeves, watching every move that he does. And also we know that Jannard is short on his funds. So with Jannard being short on his funds, someone else is gonna need those bricks. And if he can supply that to Tommy and Diamond, that's gonna be a good business. On top of, we know that the Serbs and the cartel are beefing. Tommy is beefing with the Serbs also, once Mirkovic pulled up on him, for the territory. The power struggle in the Flynn family is something we're gonna to have to keep our eye on. We know Brandon Doyle's here from Dublin, and we're saying that he probably gave a price tag of $4 million to Walter. And we also know that the Flynn family, as far as Walter and his assets, they're losing money daily. Walter is gonna to wanna to get back in his kid's life, especially after he found out that he has a huge debt with Doyle and they're losing money. So we hear Walter in the clip that they dropped during the trailer, hey, I want you to take over the organization. That's because Claudia has the business smarts. Now, Vic, he's a little bit, not all the way there. Let's just put it like that. Claudia would be the clear cut decision, but she doesn't have the street smarts. Walter knows that Vic may have a little more street smarts, but he's gonna run the operation into the ground. And that's why I can see them pushing Vic further and further away from the family because he's starting to realize that no one really has his back in the family. We seen in the clip that dropped this week, Claudia is telling Vic, you don't do nothing but run. You're not protecting anybody. And Walter's probably saying, I'm gonna have Claudia running the operation and that's gonna push him away and have him stumbling to the bar and to Gloria's gravesite. What I see from Vic is him getting drunk. And at this point, he's gonna try to partner up with either Jannard or he's gonna stumble over to CBI with Tommy and Diamond. Now, either one of these scenarios will work for him. Anything that gets him away from his sister and his dad, 
that's exactly what Vic is going to be looking to do because he doesn't trust them. They're not putting any faith in him. So why even bother? And you see, he's in his feelings at the moment. He's going to be trying to get back at Gloria, thinking about all the good times like he was in episode one. And right now, it might be a path of too far gone. As I mentioned in the intro, Jannar is going to eventually bounce back. Is it going to be a one or two episode event? I'm not sure about that, but we know eventually he's going to get on his feet and he's going to hit the ground running. Now, in this part right here, we see him talking to Diamond and Diamond is telling him straight up, don't start a war that you know you can't win. And this war is going to basically be between him and CBI or him and the cartel. Now, I'm assuming in the trailer, we see Tommy's car getting shot up and they had some Glocks. So I'm assuming that it's treason getting at Tommy, especially after Tommy killed Chewy and treason made a deal with him to sell their bricks for 26. So this could be revenge or for Jannard, it could be for Mirkovich because he needs to get even. And he told Mirkovich that he was safe. Also, don't forget, he owes the cartel money. So when this war starts, we don't know if it's treason shooting at the cartel. We don't know if it's treason shooting at Tommy. We don't know if it's the Serb shooting at Tommy or if they're shooting at the cartel. But guess what? Jannard is with Mirkovich because he owes him. So it's looking bad for everybody. Diamond, he'll be laying low for the most part. Now, we do see that they're going to be walking through the warehouse, him and Tommy and a couple CBI members. But with Tyrone Reeves up here asking him questions, following him around, popping up from random drug tests, it's going to be hard for Diamond to maneuver. Plus, he can't be seen with any fellas. So him and Tommy, they can't be seen together because if Tyrone Reeves starts doing a little bit of investigating and sending stuff up to the feds, that's going to bring out that task force. But we know that the super troopers, they're on their job. So if they get a picture of Diamond, that's also an end game for him because he's hanging around Tommy, who is a felon, who is supposed to be dead. One thing we do know, bodies will be dropping this episode. Episode one, we got three and a half, maybe four. We got to go back and confirm it. But I'm going to go ahead and put this prediction out there that I say at least four to five bodies is going to drop in episode two just because there's a war going on outside. Tommy's getting shot at. The cartel is doing some shooting and they got the heavy artillery. So there should be a lot of action going into episode two. But that's what we expect from a Tommy Egan show. It's just we don't know who's going to drop. We just waiting to see who it is dropping. And lastly, the real cartel boss in Chicago. Now, I'm not sure if this is Miguel's mom or grandma. We're going to confirm in episode two, but it looks like she's really the one calling the shots behind the scenes. Now, if you know anything about the family hierarchy, the son is going to do exactly what the mom wants to do or the dad. But whoever's in charge is actually calling the shots. So she's probably letting Miguel know, I want to do this. I want to do this. And Miguel goes out and enforce it. But it looks like she's going to be on the scene and she is not playing around. So hopefully the cartel can get things in order and they drop more bodies of the Serbs before the Serbs come and get them because there's going to be a war going on outside and it's up to you to decide which side you're on. All right, let me know what you think and where am I right and wrong on my predictions? How many bodies do you think are going to drop? I'm saying four to five bodies are dropping in this episode. Go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you think. I'm ODIJ. Make sure you tune in tonight for the first reaction, 1 a.m. Eastern, right after the show goes off. It should be a good one. We got the first reaction and, of course, Friday night, the live after show discussion where I break down each individual character and we tell the story behind the story. I'm ODIJ. I'm on that road to 50,000 subscribers. So hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And if you don't see this at 100 likes, hit that like button. Thanks for watching. I'm out.